Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons. And in this lesson, we are going to be talking about triple thumbing and double thumbing and drop thumb. And we've covered some of these before in lessons, but coming up, I'm going to be teaching country roads. And there's three parts to it. It'll be three separate lessons. And as I was recording it, um, I've actually recorded it two or three times a lesson, and then I just <laughs> pitched the whole thing because I really think we need to cover uh, this first because in my playing, I do a lot, a lot of syncopation. And uh, a lot of people don't do that. A lot of clawhammer players don't. And uh, that comes from syncopation. It also comes from understanding what you're doing rather than just, you know, just playing something. So I've never counted out each of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the different techniques. Uh, you know, we've covered again, just regular bum ditty. We've covered the, the uh, drop thumb, but I've never counted out the timing. And I think that's important because we're going to do that. And then we're going to do uh, the triple thumbing and a few other techniques that I think would be very helpful and beneficial as you continue through these lessons. And to me, this video is really foundational for the other lessons that, that we'll be doing and as we continue with this. So this is going to be strictly a right hand video. Um, and so, you know, doing the split screen is very difficult is in the editing process. Um, but I'm going to try, I've got some things in mind that I'm going to try in the future. We're going to see how that works. But let's get started with this. And by the way, if you like this video, please comment below on YouTube uh, and also please like. So let's get started. And we're just going to do a bum ditty, but I want to count out how this will work. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the second string, then hitting it again, and then pulling off with a thumb. So bum ditty. If you were to count that in measures, if we were in 4 4 timing, so we have four beats one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. So, what I'd like you to do is if you could actually play that with me, and if you can, call out the, the timing, uh, say the numbers with me one. Sorry, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. And one thing I want you to notice is that you're playing on every beat. In other words, one, two, three. So if you do the hesitations, which I've explained before in the past, but again, when I say hesitation now in the future, you should know what we're talking about if you watch this video. You're playing one, two, and. So you're not playing the second nor the fourth beat in that measure. One, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. So what you're playing is one, you're not playing the two, but you're playing the and, you're playing the offbeat there. So it's one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. So in previous videos, I've mentioned you leave off the dit. Bum, dit, t, bum, dit, t, one, two, and three. Four and one, two and three, four and. So again, play this with me, and if you can, call out those those numbers. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three, 
four and one, two and three, four and. So you really need to get fluent with both of those. And then. Okay, when you're drop thumbing, what you're playing is the one and two and three and four, and you're playing all of it. So, not, so you understand what I'm doing. I'm hitting the first string, second string with my thumb, first string with my index or middle, and then the fifth string with my thumb, which is drop thumb. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and, and then play along and call out with me. Okay, so here's what we have so far. One, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. Then we include the hesitation. One, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. Then we did drop thumb. One, and two, and three, and four. Usually when you're doing the drop thumb, you're actually playing uh, the melody or you're filling in eighth notes where the hesitation is more of a technique, all right, which is what I want to show you with the triple thumbing. Uh, to do the triple thumbing, and let me play a little bit of something here for you. And if you watch that, that's the beginning of Country Roads. What you're going to notice is I'm playing so my thumb is actually playing three notes in a row one two and three and four and so see the difference one two and three and four and so what you're doing there you have four beats but you're only playing on the downbeat one time and the offbeat three times. In other words, one, two, and, three, and, four, and, which is where you're getting some of the syncopation. One, two, and, three, and, four, and. I'm hitting the third string. I could do it on the second. One, two, and, three, and, four, and. One, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, two, and, three, and, four, and. Does that make sense? And what I'm doing there is just really filling in. So the melody note would be this first note, and the ands, which is what I'm playing. So you see what I'm doing is I'm playing the melody note and then filling in, I guess, what you would consider the rest <clears throat> with that triple thumbing. All right, so let me show you one more. <clears throat> and what I'm doing here 
is I'm playing the melody. Let's go back to the second string. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat there. So I'm hitting the melody, well, I'm hitting the, the on beat. One, two, and three, and four, and. So now what I'm playing is the one and the four on the downbeat. Everything else is an and. One, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and three, and four, and. One, I'm sorry. One, two, and three, and four, and. And I'm referring to this as double thumbing. Now, there may be other definitions uh, for this, and double thumbing may be something else to you, but for the sake of these lessons, that's what I'm referring to because you're using your thumb twice in a row. One, two, and three, and four, and. So here's what you're playing. You're playing the, and I'm just going to call the numbers that I'm playing. One, and, and, four, and. One, and, and, four, and. And this also fits into the song. Basically, when you don't have enough room to do the triple thumbing, you would do the double thumbing. So I would work on all four of these. Uh, the bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, diddy, which I rarely ever play because I tend to do the hesitations, which adds more to the syncopation, which is one, two, and three, four, and. And then again, you have the uh, tri triple thumbing. So it's not just it's not just this. You have to allow for the timing. One, two, and three, and four, and. So you're playing the downbeat and then the three ands. All right. So and then you have the the last one. So in my lessons when we do country roads, which will be coming up, I will refer to either a double thumb, which is. Or a triple thumb, or the hesitation. So I hope that helps. Um, it, it's not hard to do, and just takes a little practice where you're comfortable with it. And that's what you need to do is just sit there and do it. And start off slow. But to get the timing, it would be helpful to call it out. One and two, I'm sorry, one and and. It would be helpful to call it out. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. So I hope that's helped. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have, if it's helped, please hit like on YouTube. Please leave a comment, which is very much appreciated. Uh, and please share this video. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon on the next lesson.